the spice variants, we have a, uh, a way to make a piecewise linear uh, time voltage, time voltage, or time current, time current uh, waveform. It's called a PWL. And uh, if we're doing digital logic circuits, this is uh, a bit tricky to do, uh, and it's a pain uh, if we have lots of stuff. So here's a tool. I call it VWF to PWL. If you want to check out more, go to uh, GitHub here. And uh, here it is, both the uh, version for the web app and uh, made in Flask. And then VWF2PWL is uh, suitable as a command line program uh, written in Python 3 that uh, you can run from the command line. So you don't need this website uh, strictly for this uh, tool. But here's a demo of using the, the tool. I use this as an opportunity to uh, play around with drag and drop uh, uh, stuff. All right, first we need a uh, input file format. So general format is uh, comments. Anything from the hash character to the end of the line is a comment and ignored. The first block is name, value, uh, parameters, name and values. And we have uh, one per line. Right here, clock delay is an example. This is kind of all of the uh, parameters we have. Clock delay, 500 pico, clock rise fall. If you don't specify these two, then you won't have a extra clock added to your uh, thing, uh, to your thing, or whatever it is. Space separated column labels, so we have one line. Space separated col column labels, A3, A2, A1. We'll have a voltage source called VA3 connected between node A3 and zero. Then after that, a whole bunch of ASCII zeros and ones to represent uh, whether this is high or low uh, from where low is a zero volt and high is a five volt. Generates this file. So let's uh, let's do a little demo. We're going to do a four bit counting waveform. Here we go. I want to turn off my uh, spell checking because that's bogus. Rise fall. Do you notice we don't have the clock rise and delay here? We just have rise and fall times. We have bit times, which is one nanosecond per bit. And then uh, you'll see that we properly account for um, the rise and fall times in the bit times, as, as you'll see in the, in the waveforms. Bit low, 0 to 5, uh, 4 bits. And we're going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and uh, go all the way up to 15. So we're going to want full cycle of a 4-bit counter. That's our input file. Uh, one way, you can uh, click on here to upload it, or uh, here's my uh, file right here. We're going to drag and drop that, dump it in here, uploads it, uh, and we get, uh, we're going to download this file to here. It just pops up right away. Either that or you get like a server error. Uh, the error checking, it's okay. It's always a syntax error usually. Um, anyway, all right, so we save this file. If we look at what this file is, we're going to look inside here and open it with with Kate. Oops, I opened up the wrong one. And PWL file. This is going to be the one that we're going to input into LT Spice. So we have VA3, voltage source from A3 to 0. It's PWL. Remember the pluses in Spice syntax is line continuation. At zero seconds, it's zero volts. At eight nanoseconds, it's also zero volts. And then 8.01 nanoseconds, which is 10 picoseconds later, it goes up to five. So that's our rise time. Uh, if these rise time numbers mean a lot to you, you'll notice that this is the 10 to or zero to 100 percent rise time, not the 10 to 90 percent or 80 to 20 percent rise time. Since it's a linear thing, uh, you can figure out how to uh, compensate for that. Uh, just uh, in your head. All right, A3 doesn't change much. It goes from 0 to 1. Halfway through, this one changes double speed. And then finally, A0 changes a lot. This is where uh, the tool figures out your PWLs as you want. All right, so next up, we want a LT Spice. I'm going to open up LT Spice. Made a demo here. Okay, here's my uh, LT Spice window. And really, I just want to dot include, uh, what was it, uh, counter dot 
P W L piecewise linear. Include that, and then uh, I like to put my simulation statements different. I'm going to do a transient simulation. How many bits do we have? We had like what nan one nanosecond, and there were 16, so we're going to do uh, 17 nanoseconds. And that's all we have in here. Okay, we run this simulation. We get these results. If we plot these results, we get A0, A1, A2, and A3. And, of course, currents through the voltage sources. And does this look like a counter? Well, you know what? It's hard to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a plot plane, add a plot pane, add a plot pane. There's probably a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. I have too many. So I'm going to delete that one. Okay. I'm going to put A3 up here. I'm going to put A2 on the next one. A1 here. Now all of our waveforms are separated. And we can see we 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. We can zoom in in time to see that we do have a trapezoid or just piecewise linear signals. That's how to use this tool, generate a PWL file from SPICE. Presently it lives at agnd.net slash app slash chip tools. There are no other chip tools uh, at web apps there, so it just redirects you as you go. Hope you have fun using it.